think I've fully adjusted yet to the fact that it's summer. Because I keep wearing pants like that's even close to the appropriate thing to be wearing right now. Much better. So I'm going to be doing some traveling coming up here and for one of the legs of my flights, I'm going to be on Frontier. I don't want to give Frontier any money, but just that particular leg, it made more sense to get Frontier even if I spent more money. Another airline, just the times weren't as good. But anyway, I will need a personal item. I know that this backpack will fit for sure, but this backpack is more what I need because this is perfect for my camera gear. So we're gonna test two things first. Is this too big? Everything about Frontier just, I understand it's a business model, but man, it's a sucky business model. So what is it? 14 by 18 by eight. So 14 inches is one dimension. This is 13. 18 inches is another dimension. This is 18 inches. And eight inches is the last dimension. And this is eight inches. Perfect. To be honest, as much as I don't like Frontier's business model, every time I've flown with them, they've never checked the bag size. If you have a regular backpack, they just let you right through. But I've heard that employees get commissions if somebody's bag is too big. That seems kind of, that seems kind of insane, but inside this bag, I have the Final Fantasy 16 art book. <laughs> we will talk about this in just a second, but out of curiosity, I wanted to know if I took my little camera insert and put it in this blue bag, would it fit? Oh, you know, it would kind of fit. And it's a little scrunched. Would that work with lenses? Let's test it out. Okay, so uh, three lenses and a camera if I use this backpack. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna risk it. Just look, look how perfect that is. Look how perfect that is for storing lenses and cameras. Oh, it's gonna be great. So this is the art of Final Fantasy 16. I had my issues with this game, but the artwork was fantastic. Loved it. Look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. Full page spread of Bahamut. Ooh, nice environments. Mm. Beautiful paintings of Behemoth. Mm. Uh, I don't know if it's still on sale at Target, but I got this for like $22 at Target. Look, how, how can they sell something like this for $22? How many pages is this? 317 pages. Damn, crazy. Ooh, look at this full page spread of Yoshitaka Amano art. Oh man, that dude is a genius. Who did the artwork for this? Was this Akihiko Yoshida? Kazuya Takahashi. Man, look how good, oh, come on, dude. See, in another life, I was, that reminds me of Final Fantasy XII. In another life, I became an artist. When me and my brother were kids, we both drew all the time. He actually continued on with it. I eventually stopped. Like a blank sheet of paper with this type of gorgeous artwork on it. This, this, this is like, if I could have any skill that I don't already have, man. It'd be drawing characters on a white piece of paper. <laughs> so I used to own a bunch of art books, but there was a point where I was selling all of my DVDs, getting rid of so much stuff, and I sold, I think, all of my art books. And I don't super regret it. I had a copy of Xenogears Perfect Works, which is worth a lot of money, but I don't super regret getting rid of it because I just didn't think it was that great of an art book. It's a good lore book. Uh, but the one that I do regret getting rid of is the art of Metal Gear Solid. They released it about the time when the Twin Snakes came out. That was a fantastic art book. Should not have gotten rid of that one. Just wonderful. How can I buy this for $22? And then when I go to like make a color print at Kinko's, it's like a dollar. <laughs> like this is 317 beautifully printed pages. I don't actually need an answer to that, by the way. I know it's economies of scale. Okay. You know, it has occurred to me that I could put this little lens insert sideways. Yeah, that fits everything, no problem. See, on the way there, I'll be flying Southwest. So I can have two checked bags if I want. One of them will be my camping backpack for sure. Then we're gonna film some videos and then on the way back, I'm taking Frontier and I need to have one bag. But we're going right back to the same location. So I'm going to leave my camping backpack there. Kind of a weird convoluted setup, but uh, it'll make sense later. I'll explain it when it actually happens. But This seems like a little bit safer bet for Frontier. Like this is literally the dimensions of the personal item. So if they wanted to be sassy, I could potentially see them doing that. The main consideration is of course that I don't want to get charged extra money, but I do got to say, I love this bag. So the Fjall Raven Ulvo, 20 liters, I think. Such a nice bag, dude. It looks great. It's got the perfect side pocket. Just not too much, not too little. This bag is also quite nice, but this is camera oriented, a little bit bigger. Love them bags. Why do I love them bags? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's go for a run. I don't super feel like going for a run, but I feel enough like going for a run that it will be an overall positive thing. And if there's one thing I know, it's that staying in shape begets staying in shape. Does that make sense? It's not like one of those things where if you don't feel like exercising, you wait a week, and then in a week you'll feel like exercising. It's if you don't feel like exercising, do a little bit today, and gradually you'll start to want to exercise more and more. You have to keep that well circulating. I might have changed my mind. This might be a walk day. Walk is still good though. Getting the movement in? How's this jog feel? Yeah, we'll just walk. <laughs> Tomato. Okay, and that will do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Remember when I used to do vlogs that were like three minutes long? I'm sure there are plenty of you who have been here since close to the beginning, but I've been doing this vlog for like very close to 10 years now. I think next year will be the 10 year mark. This year is the 10 year anniversary of Adventure Archives. Next year is the 10 year anniversary of the vlog. Uh, speaking of which, we are giving a talk at the Defiance Ohio Public Library on July 20th. You can look at their website. I think it starts at 11 a.m. Uh, we made an announcement on the Adventure Archives Patreon page saying that anybody is welcome to attend. We're treating it as a pseudo meetup. We're not gonna publicly announce it like on the Adventure Archives channel because we have no idea how many people will or won't show up. So we don't wanna overwhelm the library. But if you're watching this, you're welcome to come. Defiance Ohio Public Library. It's on their website. We're basically gonna be talking about adventure and we'll probably talk a little bit how we got started and uh, maybe show some behind the scenes clips or something. I don't know yet. Uh, we're still working on that. But the last meetup that we did was like in 2016 or 2017. So it's probably about time. Yeah, since the vlog is a much smaller viewership, I feel comfortable actually saying it in a video. Yeah, me, Andrew and Brian will be there. Thomas will probably not be able to make it. Okay, thanks again for watching. Hope you have a good one. I will see you soonish. Some bean juice? Some bean juice on my backpack. Crusty old bean juice.